Friday night game. So it's Team A versus Team B. And it, own, this, it happens more in this league than any other. Gladbach, minus 104 uh, against Verder at plus 245. The draw is at plus 305. The under over set of three with the over at minus 122. I just love the home side here. I don't think they get beat. Don't complicate it. Don't look elsewhere. Gladbach win this game and maybe even play a anytime score a stinch. Yeah, I, I was looking at uh, Gladbach potentially, but I can't. I had this nagging feeling um, from from preseason last week when we discussed them the way Union. I said Union's odds was probably the worst of the the, the weekend. Um, potentially one of the worst of the season. I think Union won like plus one ten. Uh, so, um, but about Gladbach plus a quarter rather than backing Gladbach to win. The, to be uh, risk averse, and they they lost against the Union side that hadn't won in what 16 mm. matches I think, uh, lost losing 14 of them, and who also had one massive eye on on Real Madrid in the week as well. So I have to go back to our preseason thoughts on Gladbach. We we thought that they they had basically probably the biggest range in terms of performance in the Bundesliga. They could be a top six team, but they could also be a bottom six team, and maybe even be in a relegation battle. So they kind of proved me right last weekend with the with how they flopped and the number of chances they gave up to Union. So it's enough to to put me off here against a Bremen team that, again, very very unpredictable, um, conceding goals in, in bucket loads, but seemingly uh, managing to score enough themselves that they're not losing uh, every week. Um, so, they obviously said that, like I said, I don't really want to enter into the, the match odds. And then, yeah, the goal line. I mean, I, I mentioned it, I think, about a month ago now that it won't be long until we're seeing, we were seeing like 2.75 lines, 2.5 lines. And now on a lot of games, we're seeing 3, 3.25, 3.5. I mean, even over 3 here is big favourite. Um, so, really, you're kind of looking more at the sort of 3.25 line as as the most competitive and yep tried to take advantage while while we could unfortunately a lot of those bets didn't go on to win hence hence the record um so yeah for, for me uh, a bit of a swerve um because yeah just don't know what i'm going to get with gladback they'll be too strong too powerful on a friday night at home it's team a uh stinch and the other one is yes you're right with gladback gladback and wolfsburg are the two sides that if they're on the road against anybody you do not go near them. They may even, you could obviously find a way, maybe a Pavlos with a couple of goals because they do normally score. But I'm certainly not seeing Gladbach or Wolfsburg. And I know we're talking about Verda, but Wolfsburg and Gladbach are the two sides that you just do not go near to pick up three points on the road. At home, different animal completely. Yeah, I totally agree with that. And uh, I should say that Gladbach are good for goals on the road because they always play very openly. Uh, they just, basically want to score more than they concede. That's just, I think, their whole uh, thought structure there. But, uh, yeah, at home, this, you know, this is a flash classic, if you will. Like, Friday night, the only game of the slate. Uh, everybody's going to be watching. And Gladbach, you know, they need they need to get these matches. But um, I think they might need to score at least twice to get all three points here because Bremen, you know, they scored in 10 of their last 11 trips in this venue. Um I think the best thing they got out of it was like two or three draws in that span. So they usually get beat, but um, not hands down. So um, something put me off from picking something in this match because, you know, it's Gladbach and um, it's anyone's guess as to how they will react after a loss to Union Berlin, which, to be honest, I I, I wasn't surprised because Union Berlin, and we're going to discuss about them uh, later, um, under the new manager bounce and um, with... I keep saying it, and some people laugh, but they don't have such a bad roster. So uh, it wasn't an unexpected loss for for Gladbach. Now, do they pull themselves pull themselves together and um, go on and beat Werder Bremen and wash that uh, bad result away? I think so. But um, again, I think they're gonna probably need to score at least twice uh, to get this done. Um, the over one and a half is minus 145. Not really good. Uh, I think maybe yeah, the money line is the way to bet this one. 
Yeah, listen, the money lines are, don't complicate it. Half-time, full-time is another option because the home side on a Friday night, they come out, player to score at any time. It's between maybe 150, 160, 170. And Ash, who loves digging, is at plus 187. Um, yeah, I mean, the over is at three, though. If you want to pay a little bit of juice, then go with a two and a half. Or you just go with Wolf, uh, go with Gladbach to win and over two and a half. But don't be going under three and a half or under four and a half because this could be a 4-1 type of... Uh, game but I only see the home side winning it's in many of my parlays across Europe this weekend I'm going with team A on a Friday night not complicating it uh, and I think that that's going to get us off to an absolute flyer let's have a little look at the official pick there it is Gladback money line minus 104 been fluctuating between around the plus plus 100 minus 110 minus 111 but now it's minus 104 <laughs>